All right, guys, so this is going to be the top 10 highest damage fruits in Blocks Fruits. Now, I thought this would be a really interesting video just because, you know, uh, some sometimes in Blocks Fruits, you just want to know what does the most damage. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. By the way, guys, when I hit 300,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing the one chip challenge so i will be doing the one chip challenge at 300k subs i just wanted to you know let you guys know that i did the you know the super spicy pepper challenge at 200k at 300k we're going to be getting a little bit hotter hotter with the one chip challenge so make sure to like button subscribe guys all right guys so coming in 10th place on the highest damage tier list is going to be the phoenix fruit now the phoenix fruit unawakened version doesn't do that much damage but the awakened version does do a lot of damage during to the, due to the burn effects that are from the fruit now through this tier list i'm going to be basing all of them off their awakened version if they actually have one and you know phoenix is one of the awakened versions it also is one of the coolest awakenings in the game and is regarded by widely regarded as being one of the most fun fruits to use in the game now this fruit is honestly a very utility based fruit but the burn damage that comes after you use the moves can do a lot of damage to people but it can be hard from time to time to get people to stick onto the burn damage because you know obviously players aren't going to stay on it and npcs will just walk over it so the damage does rely on them being inside of the flames and you know most of the time you probably won't be able to get that damage off now coming in ninth place it could be the rumble fruit now the rumble fruit has okay size cooldowns that does do a, a does allow it to do more damage than some of the other fruits just because you can spam the moves more now this fruit while it is actually based on stuns and just teleporting around the awakened version of it does have the potential to do a lot of damage with very big aoe sizes i am going to be considering aoe sizes into this video from fruit to fruit because some of the fruits do lots of damage due to aoe and being able to hit multiple people from it but the rumble fruits you know single target damage is also quite high compared to you know especially compared to some of the you know not rare fruits in the game obviously so rubber fruit i do think is a very solid ninth place on this list just because it has pretty sizable aoe's and pretty good damage now coming to eighth place is going to be the dragon fruit this one should be here for you know very obvious reasons even though this fruit has extremely long cooldowns compared to a lot of the other fruits of the game the damage it does is absurd in the transformation this one is kind of just kind of like widely known in this game dragon fruit does a lot of damage but the reason why it's going to be ranked kind of low compared to the other ones is because just because the cooldowns are so long that you're pretty much only be able to get a single target burst off but for pvp that is actually a really good thing because you def definitely want to be very bursty but for being a high damage dealing fruit it definitely you know knocks it down some rankings now coming to seventh place is going to be the soul fruit you guys probably know the soul fruit it has a couple of attacks that do a ton of damage including the ultimate and the second move the other moves of soul fruit are more you know they do a lot of damage as well but they just don't do as much damage as the other moves now you know this th this fruit in general the cooldowns can be quite long which is you know it does make it rank down a little bit but i definitely think the da absolutely absurd damage amount that soul has makes it you know kind of makes up for the cooldowns the fruit has now coming to sixth place is going to be the leopard fruit this one is going to be here for pretty obvious reasons guys all of these moves are extremely spammable they have pretty low cooldowns for what they do and they honestly just do tons of damage i am actually you know i do use the leopard fruit quite a bit so i just know how much damage this fruit does even as you know not being a max rank i'm like i'm like level like 1500 on my alternate account oh well you know on my alternate account that is using the leopard fruit it isn't max rank and i am still being able to one-shot people doing like 15 20 000 damage with very simple combos so the leopard fruit is a really really good pvp fruit and does absolutely absurd amounts of damage the company fifth place is going to be the string fruit you guys know if you use the string fruit you know why this is here the string fruit is kind of widely regarded as being one of the best pvp fruits due to you know pretty good stunts and extremely high comboable damage if you hold down the string moves they would do absurd amounts of damage like if you hold down the string first move it could do like 7 000 damage to someone if you hold down the other moves it would do even more damage as well string is just a very very high damage fruit the only issue to it is that you have to hold down the moves to get the highest amount of damage but when it comes to you know the highest damage tier list that is pretty irrelevant the company to fourth place is going to be the shadow fruit now the shadow fruit has pretty good aoe size and extremely high damage output from a lot of the different abilities that it actually has now the shadow fruit does come with some drawbacks some of the moves actually have extremely long cooldowns but i definitely think the shadow fruit makes up for it and you know the pretty okay aoe sizes you you know the flight move also does a ton of damage as well i mean like this the shadow fruit in general is just a really really high dps fruit now we are finally on to the top three of the highest damage fruit tier list if you guys have been enjoying this so far hit that like button and subscribe guys i really do appreciate it but coming in third place is going to be the doe awakening now obviously guys the doe awakening does absolute metric tons of damage especially to you know single target the single target damage of you know the doe awakening is kind of you know i i would say if you're going for single target damage only doe probably does a 
eclipse the second place on this list but for aoe sizes it is kind of you know it's kind of like iffy for aoe but the doe fruit you're able to hold down some of the abilities that make it do a ton of damage it's very very easy to hit as well even though you know that doesn't you know factor into the highest damage part obviously but the, you know the doe fruit does absolutely insert absurd amounts of damage and the cooldowns aren't even that long for doe now coming to second place is going to be the venom fruit now the venom fruit does get most of its damage from tick damage now tick damage if you guys are unaware is like a poison effect so you know you get hit by one ability of venom and you will have a ton of poison damage dealt to you it also is probably one of the best aoe based fruits in the game because it can't hit multiple people which makes it do more damage than it would otherwise it also helps that you know it does have a transformation that does make the moves do even more damage when you use the transformation now to mention one is going to be the light fruit now the light fruit does have a lot of drawbacks but the one of the reasons why it's just so good for grinding is because of the damage output now the damage output of light doesn't really compare to some of the other fruits on this tier list but if you can get good combos off of some people you will be able to do a lot of damage now auto retro 2 is going to be the bomb fruit now you guys probably knew this fruit was going to be here the ultimate of this fruit does tons of damage it's kind of what you know the fruit is known for this is the ultimate explosion technique the, the the big kahuna explosion the hiroshima explosion you know what i'm saying this basically you turn into a bomb you explode you do tons of damage based on you know how much you charge the ability and it's just a really really you know high damage ability in general so i just had to put it on this list just for that move alone by the way you guys what is your favorite high damage fruit in blocks fruits in the comments below we'll be checking them out now coming in first place probably as a surprise to nobody is going to be the magma fruit now i've actually used the magma fruit quite a bit now because you know obviously the magma fruit just is a really really popular fruit in blocks fruit now this is for a very very specific reason it does tons of damage if you can land you know if you could land it even like just the first ability on someone you could do like you know seven eight nine thousand damage not even maxed out with your blocks fruit stat this this fruit does absurd amount of damage you know the abilities are honestly pretty you know easy to hit in general obviously guys the awakening of magma is actually the much 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 higher damage version of magma i would recommend not using the unawakening of magma if i'm gonna be honest there is a very very clear difference between unawakening and the awakening the awakening of magma just has absurd amount of damage really really good you know flight travel abilities to it and frankly i do think that this is the highest fruit in the game just because you know the first ability does tons of damage pretty much actually i, I don't even know why i'm going through all the abilities every ability in magma does tons of damage it's just that some of the abilities do even more absurd amount of damage than some of the other ones i mean like when it comes to you know the top three on this list i do feel like their damage potential is kind of unmatched by some of the ones below it i do think some of them get close from time to time but i definitely think you know magma you know obviously guys you can just spam the first ability hold that crap down do tons of damage to people and then you could follow it up with some of the other abilities you could do up to like 30 40 000 damage obviously you probably never need to do that much damage but you can there's a reason why people take magma into a lot of the different raids to fight the bosses because all you know even though buddha obviously guys buddha the sword effect is really really good for bosses if you can get someone to stun the boss and you have max magma and max devil fruit stats the magma fruit will absolutely shred the boss like do like easy like 40 50 000 damage i mean magma fruit obviously guys is the highest damage fruit in the game and i'm sure a lot of you guys can agree anyways guys that's for this video if you enjoyed this video hit like subscribe guys bye bye